pick on a fantastic piece of film, it, it, it transcends, you know, they both become something else that's really magical. And obviously I got some guys in the show that, that have a little experience in the music world, so I couldn't let them down. He didn't use that. He didn't use that though. He didn't use that. That's that's what I that, that's what I hear in my head all the time. Uh, David, before now we have the time. We are so tight on time to get to uh, so many people that we have time for one question. So we have a question here. Yeah, someone's coming up for the cast. Nieces, nephews, sons, and daughters, how do they feel about you having this role? And for Mr. Air, pre or post BBS? Thank you. Post BBS. <laughs> uh, no, this, this is the type of thing that, you know, no, no matter how cool you, you think you are, your, your kids think you suck. So, this is like. <laughs> This is like the first time where, like, I'm cool for real. It's like the, the, uh, the, the Suicide Squad, I don't know what it is, but something about this idea and something about this cast has really captured uh, something, you know. So my, my kids are doing what I say, at least, you know, for the next couple of months, but it, it's a really good look. And I want, I want to share one quick story, one quick story. So we started the rehearsal process and Jared was really the first person that like really kicked it into another gear so we were rehearsing and and you know so he, he was working separate so the Joker was working separate so one day there's a knock on the door and uh, this guy walks in this you know tough looking guy walks in he says I got a message from Mr. J <laughs> and I was like no man what the fuck security <laughs> Like some dude just walked into rehearsal, right? And he puts a box down on the table in, in front of Margot. And he says, that's a gift from Mr. J in honor of your relationship. Right? <laughs> and I was like, oh, Mr. J, oh, Mr. J, okay, okay. So Margot, you know, starts to open the box. And, you know, there was a note and it was like from the Joker. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. That, that's funny, Jared is like taking it real serious, right? <laughs> Yeah, right. And Margot opened the box and there was a live rat in the box. She jumped. Yeah. And, jumped. and listen, listen. I, I was playing dead shot, but if I had had pearls on, I would have clutched them. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, so we we <laughs> the top back on with the rat, right? So, for the whole movie, that's the, that's the kind of stuff Jared was doing, but he really kicked everybody into another level yeah. and another Absolutely. level of focus on, on doing this right. That's what I've been telling press is that uh, you know Jared does, does an incredible contribution to the film. Obviously, you know the, the tightrope act of, of playing the Joker, who is the most well-known uh, villain in Western fiction. And and look, you know he's standing in the shadow of giants. And the the contribution besides just nailing the role and being so courageous and tackling it is is he's the guy that really galvanized the cast. He was he was the sword. Yeah. You know, the, he was the hammer that made that sword sharp. I, I think that... Now, I, uh, I wish we had more time. We did not... <laughs> Go ahead, Jared. I'm going to touch it off. Oh, You're well, yelling at me now, you know? <laughs> I think if I open my mouth, this may get a little uh, X-rated here. <laughs> Are you guys having fun so far this weekend? Let me ask you a question. What's your favorite movie? Come on. What's your favorite movie? No, no, no. What's the favorite movie you're going to see on August 5th? What was it? I can't hear you. What was that? Well, no more.
promotion needed for that film. <laughs> uh, David, I understand you have something you want, especially you want to share with us now. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we brought a little something for you. Uh, we know you're going to live stream it and periscope it and all that. I wish you wouldn't, but it's going to happen. Uh, but before we show you, look, I want to thank uh, Warner Brothers for, for giving me and giving everybody this, this incredible opportunity. I want to thank Kevin Tsujihara, Greg Silverman, and Sue Kroll, who really believed in me, really trusted me, and let me make the film I wanted to make. This is absolutely a filmmaker-driven piece of work that you're going to see on August 5th. Thank you very much. Now let's let's spin this shit. Yeah.